Hello ladies and gentlemen, my name is Dr. Mary Washington, aka Rapper MD. I'm going to talk to you this evening about your blood pressure. Now blood pressure, for most people, they don't know what it is. They don't even have any symptoms because most people do not have symptoms with the elevated blood pressure. The reason that we even measure your blood pressure is because if it's high, that is your top number being greater than 180 or your bottom number being high in the hundreds, you can damage your brain, your vision, your heart, and your kidneys. What's a normal blood pressure? Normal blood pressure ideally is top number being less than 120, bottom number being less than 70. For some of my older patients or patients on medications, I'll even go up to top number being 130. That top number is your systolic, the bottom number is your diastolic when you rest. Now there's various blood pressure monitors out there. The one that I like to use the most and recommend for my patients is the digital blood pressure monitor. Not the one for your risk, but the one for your brachial artery. Why? Because this is the artery that is closest to your heart. The whole idea of measuring your blood pressures is that we see what the heart sees. So you want a blood pressure monitor that is to your brachial artery, the name of the artery in your arm, at table level close to your heart. And these digital blood pressure monitors are very easy. Now ideally, you would not be taking it with all of this clothes on. I have on my lab coat, unfortunately. But you take this, the bare arm, before I close it up, it has a indicator of where your artery is, where you're supposed to line this up at. You'll break your artery. Take your blood pressure the same time every day because your blood pressure varies throughout the day. And what I love about these digital blood pressure monitors is that whether you have arthritis, it's just a push of a button and it records your blood pressure reading. The top number is the systolic. That's the number as the cuff is inflating, it's going to collapse my artery. That number you want to be again under 130, ideally under 120. So it's collapsing my artery. And now it's measuring that pressure. The moment that artery opens up, that's the pressure that my heart will push blood all the way through to my entire body. You hear the beeping noise that's also taking my pulse. You see what your heart rate is doing. And this will continue to deflate until the artery is completely open and blood passes through with no resistance. That's called your diastolic. Let's see. Actually, you want your top number to be less than 120 and your bottom number to be less than 80. So that's my spiel on blood pressure monitors. Again, a digital monitor is easiest to use for your parents or grandparents, not a risk monitor. For those of you who buy a risk monitor, you may want to take it with you to your doctor office and see if it compares with the digital monitor or a mercury monitor that he may have on the wall. Again, measure your blood pressure. Try to do it at the same time every day. You should bring your blood pressure readings with you to your doctor's office. And that way, your doctor will know that you are serious about your health. And I will know that you understand the importance of measuring your blood pressure. Because again, a high blood pressure has no symptoms until it's too late. Until you've already had a stroke, already had a heart attack or well, heaven forbid, now on dialysis. Thank you. Without any hesitation, make some time for me. So busy, there's no time for sleep. Make some time for me. Because you, I will connect to my machine. You, I will connect to my machine. You, I will connect to my machine. I'm 
rapper MD, and this is Nephrology. Rapper.